Hi there, welcome back from beautiful Ticino. Uh, as you know, climbing is not only uh, about sanding, but also falling is part of the game. And for me, a very important factor is that I totally trust my belayer. And if I do so, I can just fully concentrate on climbing. I'm not scared and I can just really push my limits. While I climb, I always make sure that my leg is not behind the rope because um, in case I would fall, I could get a burn or I could have a very bad landing, like for example, upside down. I actually prefer, I mean, if it's possible to have a soft catch because I'm kind of sensitive with my lower back and so if I get a soft catch, I'm sure that I won't get hurt and also my ankles won't get hurt. So if I take a fall, I try to stay facing the wall and to absorb the impact with my legs. And something funny is that uh, I used to be scared when climbing in overhangs. I used to be scared of falling. Although there, I mean, you just fall into nothing and usually it's a soft catch. I don't know, it's probably something mental. And what helped me a lot was just really falling a lot, doing kind of fall training. And another thing that supports me is um, that if my belayer is kind of like not talking to me, but supporting me and saying, yeah, come on, Joe, you can do it. I know that he's like super vigilant and he's watching. So yeah, if I'm in the flow, I just go and try to push it hard. I think many climbers warn the belayer before they're falling. I also do so. Um, I mean, not before I'm falling, but if I'm in a in, a, in the cracks or if I see there is a move that I might not be able to do, I kind of tell my belayer saying, hey, watch out. I, th I think it's for me also a signal. If the belayer then gives me an answer, I know, okay, he's now watching and, and I'm good. So as I said, for me, um, a good belayer is very important because he's kind of my rope manager. If I have to clip, he has to give me a rope. If he has too much slack, he has to take back slack. And if I fall, he has to jump and maybe give me a little bit more rope so that I can have a, have a, have a soft catch. And of course, at the beginning of the route, he should not give too much slack because otherwise I could risk a grounder. And yeah, that's why he's kind of my rope manager. So this is how I deal with fear and falling. It sometimes helps, but not always. And um, how do you deal with it? Let us know and see you next time.